Hi there. This video will walk you through how to use Panther's Simple Detection Builder. My name is Matt, and I'll be your host. In this video, I will provide a brief intro to Simple Detections and walk through a use case of setting up a Simple Detection. The documentation for Simple Detections is available at docs.panther.com detections. Be sure to reference that resource when setting up Simple Detections. Simple Detections refers to the Panther features that make it easy for users with all levels of technical skill to create and manage detections in Panther. These features include a Simple Detection Builder in the Panther console and YAML detections that you can create using Panther developer workflows and then modify in the console. In this video, we're going to explore the Simple Detection Builder. To illustrate how you can use Simple Detections, I'm going to start with an idea for a detection I want to create. My hypothetical organization makes significant use of AWS resources, and protecting access to them is critically important. To that end, I want to create a detection that will trigger an alert whenever an AWS root account access key is created. In the Panther console, navigate to Build Detections. In the upper right corner, click Create New. Select the Rule option at the top of the page. In the Basic Info section, enter a descriptive name for your new detection. This will populate the ID field. Click Continue in the upper right. To start off, I'll need to know which log types I want to target with this detection, as well as the parameters that I want to trigger the alert. Identifying the log type is straightforward. In this case, it's AWS CloudTrail, so I'll select that in the Log Types field. In the Detect box below that, select Simple Detection Builder. In this section, you can build the logic for your detection. In this case, I've taken a look at my AWS logs, and I know that one of the parameters I want the detection to trigger an alert off of is event name with the string create access key. Click the plus sign next to where and select add clause. Select event name. I want this alert to trigger only when this parameter specifically shows up. So then select is and input the string create access key. Another parameter I want to use to narrow the scope of the detection is error code. Specifically, I want to trigger an alert if the error code parameter is not present in my log data. So I'm going to add another clause of error code is empty. This is effectively the same thing as saying the error code field is not present in the log data. If error code is absent, that means that the access key has been successfully created indicating that a risky, investigation-worthy action has occurred. If error code is present in log data associated with create access key, that means the attempt to create the root access key failed. My imaginary organization has an SCP in place that should prevent root access keys from being created and produce an error code, but I'm creating this detection just in case someone manages to find a way around that. Next, in the alert fields section, I will configure the alert severity and optional fields. Since the creation of one of these keys is an event worthy of significant scrutiny, I'm going to set it to critical. In the expanded optional fields section, I'll modify the title of the alert. You can add bracketed fields to display these in the alert title. In this example, I'm going to input the recipient account ID field to aid in quicker investigation of the alert. I'll also add a brief description for alert responders. You can also configure other options here like the event threshold, deduplication period, and MITRE framework mapping, but I'll keep those at their defaults for this example. Now I'll test out whether the alert will function as intended. I have some sample log data that I'll paste in the test field. The log data in this test should trigger an alert, given that it represents the creation of a root access key and the error code field is not present. I'll confirm the toggle in the unit test section is set to yes, and then click run test. The result indicates that the test passed and an alert would be triggered. I also have some log data that should not trigger an alert based on the parameters I've configured. The data indicates that the root access key creation process failed due to an organizational SCP in place. I set the toggle to not trigger an alert and run the test. The output indicates that the test is a pass because an alert would not be fired, as intended. Now you know how to get started with crafting Panther simple detections. For more information on detections, reference our docs at docs.panther.com/detections. Thanks for watching.